It's a great day for keto. My name is Liftar, and I'm bringing you today's keto tip. Welcome. Today's keto bite, intermittent fasting and viruses. Intermittent fasting and viruses are an intertwined subject. Being on the keto diet can help most, if not all, of the major risk factors with the coronavirus. First is being overweight. One of the big problems people have is that their bodies are already overloaded when they get the virus. If you're really overweight, your heart is working overtime just for normal daily activities. Your liver, pancreas, and other organs are working around the clock just to keep the body going. They're flesh and blood. They need a break. A break like intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is like magic for your health. It helps lower the blood sugar. High blood sugar is one of the first things doctors noticed in the early days of the virus in the people who did not do well. The next thing was pre-existing heart conditions. That's a whole subject in itself, but intermittent fasting almost always helps with that also. The third big area of concern is people who have lung problems. I'm not a doctor, but I am pretty familiar with a particular area of nutrition, and that area is grains. I had a lot of health problems that were from grains. Many people with asthma are actually just gluten intolerant. Gluten from grains causes all kinds of health problems, including migraines and a whole bunch of other stuff. If you're on keto, you're off of all grains, which is what I recommend anyway to people, whether they're on keto or not. Grains do not help you. They're not good for you. Your chances of having lung problems if you go off of grains go way, way, way down. And again, yes, there's odd genetic problems or diseases people have. This is not nothing we say in health applies to every single person on the earth. We're just talking about large, large percentages. Large, large percentages of people who have lung problems can be helped by just getting rid of grains completely. Your body can do a lot of healing on its own. So back to the fasting, it's all about giving your body a chance to do what it does best, heal itself. Everything you need is in your body again, unless you've got some weird genetic disease. In an average person, your body is very capable of healing itself, but if you overload it every minute of every day with food, none of the parts of the body that are supposed to work on healing get a chance because every bit of energy is just processing food day and night, 24 hours. There's one more really big point about intermittent fasting. When you fast, the body's ability to make hunter-killer cells increases. Hunter-killer cells go around your body finding and destroying viruses. Yes, it's almost like comic book characters they're really cool. They're very powerful. But your body doesn't make them except when it's in a fasting mode. There's another type of cells that helps your body remember a virus that you've already had. Another health problem people have if they're overloaded all the time, this memory cell kind of gets weakened and there's a lot fewer of them. So if a guy comes into the bank every day and he robbed the bank and then he comes back a year later, one of the bank tellers remembers the guy and when he walks in the door, she hits the alarm. That's what we want. We want these memory cells that remember what these viruses look like. So the moment they come into the body, your body's alarm system goes off and you start killing off that cell with the hunter killers. So if there's a virus going around, you should be doing your intermittent fasting. Even if it's just overnight, again, you don't have to go into crazy days-long fast. It's just make some period of time every day, even if it's just overnight, make it as long as you possibly can. And the easiest system people do is go from after you eat dinner and try to not make it too late at night, maybe 7 p.m., 
And then you go all the way till lunch the next day. If you can get to that, that'll take care of 95% of your problems. You can have a cup of coffee to hold you over in the morning. That won't really break your fast in any meaningful way. One step at a time, intermittent fasting will help with viruses, will help with the coronavirus and any other kind of viruses. It just makes your immune system function a lot better. And that's today's Keto Bite. If you enjoy these bite-sized tips, then come on over to rockthatketo.com and sign up for fabulous recipes, how-to tips, and inspirational stories of people who have lost weight or gotten healthy for the first time in their life. If you're ready to dive in and start losing serious weight, we have a foolproof 30-day plan all laid out for you. You can start losing weight today. Come on and check us out at rockthatketo.com, and we'll see you next time. 